When my son started here at the school, there was no professional ongoing music tuition. Um, and as a child, I went to a school with loads and loads of music and it really allowed me to enjoy music and has done for the rest of my life now. And I really wanted that to be available to my son, but to all the children in the school. My name's Matt Clements. I'm a musician. I've got a background of playing everything from little trios, great big samba bands, setting up my own brass band, 14 years we were on the road. Used to work in crowds, I've done a lot of street performance. The energy that you've got in a crowd, in a room, if you're working that, you can, you can take that almost anywhere. And drawing people into music, get people playing, making music together in a way that they just didn't think they were capable of doing. Before there were limited opportunities, music specialists would come in for short periods of time. I set up a little arts organisation to allow us to raise money. And to start with, we did quite a lot of concerts raising money um, and we ended up with this little pot of money. So somebody told me all about Matt. I'm using a format which I've been doing for years. It's called the Big Drum Adventure and it's been all over Scotland, always different different teachers, different class sizes, different communities. I spoke to the school who were really excited about the possibility of something really substantial happening. Oh, it's so motivational. It just grips them from the minute they come in the door. Um, and that thing about listening, you know, Matt's very good at getting their attention, giving them all sorts of little cues and games and things to listen for. You know, just making a noise, but it's, suddenly it's making sense to them. Um, so it's a huge privilege and hopefully it is something that we would be able to do every year. Well here in the Upper Tweed Valley it's really really spread out and I don't think people have quite the access to those kind of shared musical experiences. We managed to get some funding from our local wind farm and Matt is now here for nine weeks. The energy in the school in the days when Matt's um, in is just absolutely terrific. You know, that they're all very switched on. Right down to the business of making their own drumsticks. Um, they've put the effort into making those. We've been using them in the classroom for spelling or if we have ten minutes at the end of the day. Different people taking control, I think, from normal, you know. Um, it's really bringing out the strengths in, in children. Um, people that maybe don't always shine in that way. They're, they're really, really enjoying it. We've also added in some evening sessions for adults and teenagers so the whole community has got involved. I get parents coming up to me after school's performances, they've seen their kids do amazing things they never expected them capable of doing. And the parents are like, I want to do this, where can I do this? Some of them are here because their kids have taken the Big Time Adventure in the school. It's such an ambitious project, the whole thing. You know, starting off with the children in school, but then out to the community. And the idea of that celebration of an evening where we all go, all the families all come, everybody's involved, everybody's making a big noise. It was just huge, not only for the school, but for the community as well. So we're all going to meet in the village hall, and as I say, families, mums, dads, you know, children at the school, children not at the school, everybody invited to come along and just join in the big drumming adventure. It's a special occasion tonight. The Burns song, The Deals of War, is going to be one of the songs that we'll be featuring in the finale performance. I'm going to teach it to the kids, but they'll get to perform it with a great guitarist. Comrade Mollison, who taught the song to me in the first place. So it's a beautiful full circle. I've spoke to a parent recently who said it's all that her child talks about at the moment is Matt the Hat's drumming sessions. What he's bringing here is really, really unique. Funding is always an issue in, in the mix of things, but I think certainly, well, anyone who's involved in it will go away with a great memory and some new skills, and you know that allows them then to, to kind of piggyback onto other things, feeling that they've got the confidence to step into other groups that maybe before would have just been too much or too scary. So I think it's built musical confidence.